Okay, my name is Trey. Uh, this problem is going to be <clears throat> involving a series parallel circuit. Uh, we're looking for the total resistance of the circuit. You can see there's a lot of resistors here. And they're in series, parallel, they're all over the place. The voltage source doesn't play much uh, in this problem. Uh, <clears throat> so we're just going to strictly look at the resistance and try to solve uh, for the total resistance. <clears throat> First what we're going to do is look here at these three resistors. Uh, they are in series so we can just add them up. So we're going to do that now. 5 plus 10 plus 15 is 30 ohms. And so <clears throat> let's go ahead and, and uh, Go ahead and change this graph just so we can see it a little better. And just go, oops. Still learning the software. It's not uh, real hard, but it's hard when you're recording. <laughs> so now, put the 30 ohms here. So what we've done is we've replaced the 5, 10, 15 ohm resistor with 30 because they were in series. Now what you should see is that we have 20 and 30 uh, in parallel, so we can go ahead and combine those. So 20, oops, <laughs> 20 in parallel with 30, we can write that as 20 times 30 over 20 plus 30, which is equal to 600 over 50. I think, which should be equal to 12. So we can replace the 20 and 30 ohm uh, resistors in parallel with 12 ohms. So let's go ahead and check to see that. So here we've done that. We've replaced those. You can see it here. Now what's next? Well, start the process again. You can see that we have three resistors that are in series. So let's go ahead and add those up. 8 plus 12 plus 10, and what is that going to be? That's going to be 30. So now we have 30, oops, that was weird. We have a 30 ohm resistor. We can go ahead and replace here, like so. And what you should immediately notice is we have uh, two 30 ohm resistors in parallel here. So we can go ahead and combine those. That's 30 in parallel with 30. Now, if you haven't seen this before, when you have two resistors in parallel that have the same value, uh, what you can do is use a little trick. You can just divide by two and that is the resulting uh, resistance if you combine them together. I'll go ahead and do the math just so you can see it. So this is going to be 900 divided by uh, 60 and that's going to be 15. 15 ohms. And so now let's go ahead and replace those two 30 ohm parallel resistors with 15 ohms. And there we go. So now total resistance is easy. We can say that the total resistance is just 25 plus 15 plus 50 or RT is what is that going to be? 25 plus 15 is 40. It looks like 90 ohms. So the total resistance of this circuit is 90 ohms. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also, if you could, uh, subscribe to our channel and, and like our videos if you do like them. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.